Hello and welcome to a powerful interactive market analytics one-stop shop for the housing industry. This tool has been created to empower real estate professionals to understand and explain their local market beyond the typical wide-angle view. Let's start with the basics. The area tab is located in the upper left corner. This is where you can define up to four geographies at the same time, but let's start with just one. The tool initially displays the default area, but you can either scroll down through the available list of sub-areas, city, county, and zip codes are a few common options. Or you can type an area in the box provided. Variables are located below areas. The tool defaults to all for each variable option, but the tool was also built for diving deeper. The chart below the variables adjusts in real time. Below the chart are the housing metrics. They are the primary descriptors for what makes a market tick. Only one metric can be selected at any time. If a metric has two different types of computations, like median and average, you can toggle between them. Now that we have chosen an area, some variables, and a metric, let's define our time frame and time calculation, which is either monthly or 12 months of activity rolled into each data point. Depending on your version of the tool, you may have more options. The chart now shows all of the parameters we have chosen. Right below the chart's x-axis, your chosen area and filters are displayed. Data labels are visible when you select a point on the chart. To the right of the chart, you can quickly see the most recent value and year-over-year -year change for the criteria selected. The chart can expand, which hides this area. For charts, the y-axis is based on the metric selected, and the x-axis is time of year. From the graph dropdown next to the timeline dropdown, chart data can be displayed in multiple formats. For bar charts only, the maximum allowable number of years for historical comparison is 3. Beyond that, you should use a line chart. To share a chart, select the Share icon. Step 1. Choose either live or static data. Data is refreshed once a day, and a new month's worth of data is released on or near the first of the month, depending on the rules governing your instance of the tool. The tool's user manual provides this information. Live data is updated automatically after each page refresh. Static data remains the same and stays unchanged from the day you export it. Step 2. Choose one of the sharing options. PDF is a printable document. Social media and email provides a URL from which you can email or share through many social media platforms. Embed provides a widget that can be integrated into a blog or a website. CSV provides the chart's raw data in a table. To change share options, simply select the Start Over button after you've chosen Share. This restarts the Share dialog without clearing your data. Let's look at a shared page of live data with social media and email. After you hit share, a URL is displayed that can be viewed in a new window. Note how data values are displayed on the line chart. Values will change with time because this is live data. The information supplied in your profile is displayed at the top along with the provider of the service. You can share the chart by pasting the URL into an email or social media tool, or you can use the internal share options. From this chart, it is also possible to view and share a PDF, PNG image, or raw data table. We've covered the basics, so let's add a second area tab, which will have its own color theme throughout the tool. Selecting more areas gets you more options. Let's select a property type. 
Each vertical variable category can be combined or separated by using the split arrow breakout button next to each variable name. If we break these out, the chart will display each variable segment individually, and the quick facts next to the chart will automatically adjust. There are never more than six variables on a single chart. Graph lines on the chart can be hidden or displayed by selecting or deselecting items in the chart's legend, or in the variable box above. Note how the chart automatically rescales. The tool defaults to the multi-tab filtering option, meaning each tab displays the same metric and variables as the active tab. If you want to analyze each area using different variables, select the filter button in the upper right hand corner of the tool to turn it off. Some variables have automatically calculated ranges. However, customization is an option. Select Custom next to Price Range and fill in the values to create your own custom ranges. If you want to create your own hand-drawn area that can cross predefined geographic boundaries, select My Areas. You can create area circles, or custom easy to edit polygons. Once you're satisfied, save it. Give it a second, then select See Stats to dive into your own custom area inside the tool. Be sure to check back periodically as new features are made available. And remember to check the user manual and the FAQs if you get stuck on anything. That about covers it. Happy researching.